Hi, I'm Robert Kincaid. I'm here at Collins College and Career Services. Uh, I work at Pixar Animation Studio. I'm here to answer some questions that you guys had. Okay, Robert. So one of the questions we had on Facebook was, um, where did you find the ad that said that Pixar was hiring? <laughs> and uh, how many years of experience did you have when you applied for the job? Well, there wasn't any, uh, there was no ad. I actually knew somebody that worked at Pixar at the time, and they said, that, hey, they're looking for somebody to do previs, and that's what I was doing at the time at ILM. So, but that was then. I think right now they're pretty good at uh, their website. Yeah, they have a section on the website that shows what jobs they're looking for. So well, how many out. years' experience did you have prior? Before, prior to Pixar? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was at ILM for about a year and a half. I was at Lucasfilm for about a year, and then I was at... Fox Animation Studio for about a year, but Fox Animation Studio told me that they weren't accepting anybody unless they had five years experience, and I didn't have any, so, but I had a demo tape, and they seemed to like it, so. Good, okay. Another question was, can someone without a degree from a big, highly reputed school, such as Cal Arts, Art Center, SVA, the list goes on, um, get a chance to be employed at Pixar? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, there's the easy answer. Yeah. Um, how do you get a job in audio design or engineering? Audio design and engineering. Well, I don't know too much about that, but I mean, uh, actually, you know, you can go to the Pixar website. They might have something like that as far as they're looking for. They don't really, they don't have a big department for that now, but you can check into like Sky Sound, Skywalker Sound. I mean, that's a huge place for that. Um, but I think most of these places now have some, they have a website and if they're looking for people. They, uh, we'll put it up there. Okay. Um, okay, so another guy, Dustin, says, um, hire me? <laughs> so that's obviously not an answerable question. Sorry, I don't have that power. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your favorite part of the process, start to finish, to beyond, when it comes to a large-scale project? And then what's your least favorite part of the whole process? Say that again, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, of a, of a large-scale project, yeah. what's your favorite part of the process? And what's your least favorite part of the process? Well, the, the, the favorite part is where you actually, well, so first of all, you kind of work, and I'm not working off storyboards a lot, so you have, to, you have to kind of do what the storyboards are telling you. But a lot of times the storyboard part doesn't work out, so you have to kind of come up with some better ideas. And that's the fun part, always following the storyboards, not so much the fun part. But even then, it's still a lot of fun, but, you know, that's part of the job. Okay. And then last question was from someone says, um, do you still maintain your portfolio or resume? <laughs> Ooh, you got me there. Okay. Well, I've been working at Pixar for 10 years now, and I haven't really had a, a need to look for a job or even update my resume. Um, but when I was working at those other places, when it came time that I needed a demo tape or I needed to have my resume right away and I didn't have it, I was like, why did I not have it ready? So I always have it on hand. Okay, so you'd recommend definitely that they totally. do. And one last question, obviously I have to ask for um, um, career services. Um, how important is it to practice your the skill of actually marketing yourself? Very important. And there's no reason why you can't be doing it all the time with the tools you have today. Uh, but, you know, almost every job I got, except for maybe Fox, I got because I knew someone that, that, that worked there or I, was, or I had worked with... Uh, producer that said, hey, you did a good job, and they, would, they recommended, you know, the producer for Star Wars recommended me an ILM. So that was, uh, you know, that was pretty much people-to-people -people networking. There's no reason why, you, you know, you, you can't be in, involved in a lot of these smaller communities, online communities, and it's just, the, the list goes on and on what you can be involved in. It's important, because you know what, everyone else is doing it, so you're at a disadvantage if you're not. Cool. All right, thank you.